Hey everybody, Scott DiGregorio here, your mortgage guy, coming back to you with some information about some non-conforming loan programs that are coming out. Let me give you some background, okay? When I got into the business in the 90s, there were non-conforming products out there. What do I mean by that? It doesn't necessarily meet the guidelines of Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac or FHA or VA, but they were still good loan programs. Those non-conforming loan programs turned into stupidity leading up to the, the 2008 crash. Um, and we're not back to the stupidity, but we are starting to come up with some good non-conforming products. And uh, this next video series, I want to share with you some of those details. The first program I want to talk about has to do with being able to get financing after a major derogatory credit event. Bankruptcy, short sale, foreclosure, deed and lose, something of that nature. If you look at what we call agency guidelines, Fannie Freddie FHA VA, they have pretty strict waiting periods. Two years, four years, seven years, depending on the agency and the event and, and other circumstances. But we now have loan programs where you can get financing literally the day after these events happen. And that might sound crazy to you, but you gotta understand that there's situations that warrant it. I, I, I did a loan for somebody where they had a recent foreclosure on their credit, but it was really due to the divorce and their ex was responsible for the payments. I had another situation where a home was included in a bankruptcy, but it, the bank never actually took it back and it sat for years and years and years. There's a lot of circumstances where it makes sense. There is financing out there for this situation as early as a day. Interest rates and down payment can be as low as 10 or 15% for down payment. Interest rates vary, right? What is your credit score? How far away was it? If it's one day out of bankruptcy, it's different than if it's a year out of bankruptcy, or two years out of bankruptcy. And, and of course, down payment impacts that as well. So there's a lot of things that come into play. Now, I mean, obviously interest rates are higher for a program like this. A couple things on that to think about. About. First off, does it make sense to do now versus waiting till you can get a conforming loan product, FHA or, or conventional or whatnot? Um, well, that's simple because I do a cost of waiting analysis for all of my clients so we can mathematically conclude which way is the better way to go. You know, probably if you're six months out, I would tell you to wait. If you're two years out, I would tell you probably not to. But either way, we need to run that cost of waiting analysis to see what is uh, is going on. The other thing to know with this with this product is there's no prepayment penalty. Uh, you can uh, do all these on a 30 year fix. You're not going to have something, and again, this is one of the major things that led to the 08 crash, where interest rates and your payment spikes up. That's just not gonna happen with this. You're also not locked into it for any period of time. If you had a recent major credit event, reach out to us. There are programs out there. They're still competitive, and uh, I honestly expect them to get more competitive and, and more um, have more of them out there as time goes on. I'm Scott DiGregorio, your mortgage guy. I'll see you in the next video.